Hello students. Today we are going to study the Ikta system during the period of Delhi Sultanate. So let's get started. Ikta system was land-based administrative system introduced in India by Irtutmish of slave dynasty. And then the system was followed by the other rulers of Delhi. Delhi sultans had divided their empire into iktas under the charge of officers called iktadars. These iktadars were generally the members of the royal family or noble. The iktas were the administrative units given to officers in lieu of their services to the sultan. Iktadars maintained large army and was required to send the same when asked by Sultan. Iktadars maintained law and order in territory or Ikta under his charge and protected the life and property of the people. To provide all the services to Sultan and take administrative tasks and responsibilities, Iktadar collected revenue from these Iktas. From the revenue thus collected, his administrative expenditure on the maintenance, his army, his pay and other administrative expenditure and deposit to the rest in the state's treasury. But there were some restrictions on Iktadars. The Iktadar did not always enjoy the hereditary power, that is, the Iktas could not be transferred from father to son. The Sultan could take back the Iktas from him whenever he pleased. This way, Iktadars could not become powerful in their Iktas. The Iktadars were liable to be transferred from one ikta to another, ensuring that they did not become powerful in a particular ikta. Besides for any major administrative decision or military movement or territorial expansion, the iktadars had to take permission from the sultan. So iktadars were basically administrative officials in iktas. But at the same time, we need to remember that the rules and restrictions on Iktadars were strictly enforced only by the strong rulers. In case of weak rulers, Iktadars keep a hold on their Iktas. So, this is all about the Ikta system during the Delhi Sultanate. Thank you.